So when you first start getting into growing cannabis, it's very exciting and you see there's a lot of products that you can get to either make the process easier, get more out of your plants, or just have fun with your extremely cool accessories that you can brag to your friends about. But there's a lot of things that are out there that you honestly just shouldn't waste your money on. And we're going to talk about a couple of those things today. Starting with number one, which I got a comment about recently, Belvita packs. We all hear about them and we know what they do. Uh, they absorb a little bit of moisture to try to regulate the humidity inside of a package to try to keep things fresh for a long time. You can get them in beef jerky. You can get them in all kinds of things that you buy at the store. Um, it's a little bit inappropriate to apply them and into a cannabis jar uh, for a lot of reasons, but mostly it gives an overconfidence. Um, when you buy things that are trying to supplement a process for you, uh, you can fall into an overconfidence mindset. And what this is going to do is it's going to get you to convince yourself that since I bought X product, it's going to do this for me, which means I don't have to do that thing and then just cut out an entire part of the process. And in this case, a lot of people buy Belvita packs and convince themselves that it's going to take out the entire curing process where you have to empty your buds out onto a flat surface, air out the buds, get rid of the extra humidity, and just X out that whole process because the Belvita packs are going to absorb the moisture for you magically. Listen, um... Belvita packs are extremely small. They're tiny silicone packets that can only absorb a certain amount of moisture and can only regulate a certain amount of moisture. They're very tiny. Do not give them too much credit. The correct place to apply them, I'll tell you right now, is when you are at the end of your curing process you got your humidity down into the 60 to 62 range, maybe even 58, 59 range, um, depending on how dry you like your bud. And you are putting that Belvita pack in there for long-term storage, being sure to open up your cannabis um, jars every once in a while to make sure they're getting fresh air and they're airing out. But when you're ready, for the long-term pro or long-term storage. When you're ready for the long-term storage, that is when you'll put the Belvita pack in there if you decide to use one. It's not even necessary to use one. Whether you're storing for a long time or if it's short time storage, you don't need one. It is completely optional, but if you're going to decide to use one, use it at the end of the process. Do not use it as a substitute for a process. If you put that Belvita pack in there at the start of your cure and you leave it in there for weeks, no matter how dry the bud was in there uh, to start with, if you're doing the cure correctly and getting it in at the right point and you leave it sealed for weeks on end without curing the bud or without burping the jars, your bud is going to mold and you're going to waste a whole lot of products. So don't even waste your time. Number two thing you should not waste your money on is things you're not going to be using for months. If you're first getting into the process of growing cannabis and you're about to buy your first seeds, you got your first set of pots, your soil or soilless medium, you got your lights and your grow tent set up or grow space set up properly, and you go to buy your seeds, don't go and buy scissors, don't go and buy a hanging rack for curing unless you're going to use it for something else during the growing process. Don't go out and buy a whole lot of things that you're not going to be using until the flower stage or the harvest time because it will save you a lot of money, especially if you fail during your grows. And this isn't to say that you're going to fail during your first grows. I've seen amazing first grows that are way better than my first grow by miles, but it would be wiser to save the money now, pay your bills, put some food on the table, rather than buying fancy $25 scissors that you might not use for another year, or buying some kind of contraption that's going to help you during your cure, like investing in self-curing jars, investing in giant tubs of 
uh, curing space, depending on what you're going to use for that process, I would wait until about halfway through the flower stage, about week four, um, if you need to save that money and make sure you save that money uh, and order it in time for when your plant's going to start the process you will already have that product about a week in advance, I would say. Uh, so a lot of websites have their shipping schedules or there's a lot of hydro stores that are popping up now. Uh, save your money for the meantime and wait until you have a little nest egg saved up and then buy it when you're ready to start those processes. It'll make it a lot smoother, I promise you, and then you won't have a clutter for things that you're not going to use or might not even use because in that time, a new product might show up that's even better than the product you already bought, and then you would essentially waste that other product by not even using it or using it very little if it actually is suboptimal. So there you go. A couple reasons to save your money, wait to buy things until they are necessary. This can also apply to bigger pots, uh, things for raising your plants up if you're going to be uh, growing through the winter season and you need to keep them elevated save some money on that if you don't need it quite yet if it's summer if it's warm you don't need to insulate your plants those kinds of things and thing number three is actually going to go with the usage part of your cannabis growing career if you are on your first grow or you're very early on in your grows and you don't have a lot of money saved up um because you're just starting this process process you made a huge investment not too long ago what with the grow space modifying rooms buying a grow tent whatever it might be um buying all the pots and then soil or soilless medium um just investing all this money in the beginning you don't have the money saved up to build a giant glass collection and you don't have a lot of weed to smoke in the first place where you would need a big giant glass collection where you have all these options to smoke and then you have very little to smoke or nothing to smoke at all if you fail. Um, save your money on glass pieces. Um, I would advise to stay conservative if you want to maximize your growing. Um, money is a big thing when it comes to growing and um, if you save your money now, you can pay more on electric bills, you can invest in better equipment, um, inline fans, that sort of thing. They cost a lot of money. And if you're buying a giant glass collection, rather than prioritizing your money on your grow space, you're making your growing better, uh, maybe buying better genetics if you're more advanced, those sorts of things, investing in a good nutrient company. So you're gonna wanna save your money on the usage, invest more into your growing. I hope this video helped you. If it did, please leave a like and leave your comments, questions, concerns, maybe, other things that you think might be a waste of money that you think that people shouldn't buy, uh, let's have that conversation. I really appreciate it. If you're new here and you want to see more videos like this one, you want more tips, tricks, tutorials on growing, please hit the subscribe button down below. That really helps out the channel a lot too. Turn on notifications, that sort of thing. But that's pretty much it. See ya.